Here in Arizona, it's been a dry winter. Reservoir levels have dropped lower than they've been in the last few years. But Steve Nielsen learned it's still above average. He drove past Roosevelt Lake today to see how SRP scientists track the water levels and prepare for the months and years ahead. In the middle of an especially dry winter, it's important for SRP to know exactly how much water is entering our reservoirs. Hydrologists work in some of the most remote areas of our state to get every piece of data they need. Cutting through the surface of the water, a scientifically complex tool that really just looks like a boogie board with some lights. This is Zach Keller's new toy that yields very serious data on water flow and depth in the Salt River leading up to Roosevelt Lake. Last year and before, SRP hydrographic scientists would have had to wade into the water with a pole to get those numbers. There was times the amount of water moving through here was not safe for anyone to be even where we're standing. You'd have been underwater. And we wouldn't be able to get out here and measure that. And that'd be a huge unknown to us and our operations. And that measurement is very important. Just look at what happened in 2023. A very wet winter filled every lake to capacity and SRP needed to know how much more water was on the way and what needed to be released. If you do have a lot of runoff and you have reservoirs starting to fill, we need to start planning ahead of time so that we can make releases earlier if we're expecting a lot of water to lessen the amount of flows downstream and protect the safety of the dams. Two winters later and it's a different story. Roosevelt under 70% capacity in this dry winter. Rain and snow last week didn't make it downriver, but that's okay, they say. SRP reservoirs can fill in one really wet winter and that can help us get through several dry winters. If the reservoirs are full, it's about three years worth of water supply that SRP delivers to the valley. Along the Salt River, there are stream flow gauging stations like this. They gather important data, but that boogie board of tools with a motor is far more precise and specific. This winter, they don't expect much more, but they're still above average and hoping for more rain next year. We live in a desert, and so we, we rely on wet years when we have them to help refill our reservoirs to get through dry years like we're having this year. SRP says on average they do this about five, six times a year, but it can vary, especially if there's a major storm. They'll want to get in the water to make sure they know exactly what's headed our way. Steve Nielsen, Fox 10 News.